In this video, I'll show you how to conduct a word study using the Septuagint. With Logos, studying the Septuagint has never been easier. For example, let's imagine you're reading through the Septuagint book of Jonah, and you come across chapter 2, verse 1, where the text says, And the Lord commanded a great sea monster to swallow Jonah. But looking at the Hebrew text, it says, And the Lord provided a great fish. Is it common for the Septuagint to translate the Hebrew word for fish with the Greek word sea monster? The answer to this question is only a few clicks away. First, I'll conduct a word study for the Hebrew word dog. In the translation ring, we find all of the different ways the Lexham English Bible translates this word. But for our purposes, we're not interested in how the English translations render the word, but how the Septuagint translates it. So navigate to the Settings drop-down menu and select Suite's version of the Septuagint. Immediately, Logos generates a translation ring that shows me all the different ways the Septuagint translates this word. When we click the center of the ring, Logos generates a list of the verses where the Septuagint translates the word fish. Here we find, as we might have expected, that a word with the ichthu root is the most common way the Septuagint translates the word dog. We also find that Jonah is the only book in the Septuagint that uses katos, rendered sea monster, as a translation for this Hebrew term. It appears that the translator of Jonah broke from the most common means of translating the Hebrew text before him. This was likely an interpretive move to further identify the creature that swallowed Jonah. From here, we can go one step further and explore how the word sea monster is used throughout the Septuagint and what Hebrew words it most commonly translates. First, conduct another word study for the Greek term katos. Then, scroll down to the Septuagint translation ring and analyze your results. And this is just one way that Logos enables you to powerfully study one of the church's earliest and most important translations of the Old Testament.